Hello everyone, this is Gali and this is a new episode of Artist Feature. Today we're going to see one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, she has been a Deviant in Deviant Art for 11 years and her name is Anna Podervorna. Now I don't know how you pronounce it, her last name, but it, she's awesome. She's from Poland and she's been doing artwork for a very long time. You might know her from the webcomic of White which is um, not going on anymore, but it was really famous and really wonderfully made. So I'm gonna show you some of her artwork so you can see what I'm talking about when I say she's awesome. But we're gonna go to the first ones. So we're gonna like really, really fast go to the bottom of her artwork and you'll see how she has improved. So this is her website in the Viantart. Since we reached the end. So you can see from the start, she's always been like really good drawing environments and creatures and fantastic things, even buildings, humans, watercolor. She can draw anything in any medium, I believe. It's incredible. So you can see very mystical works, beautiful colors. She was really good here, like you know, her work. She has some interesting designs, like this mermaid. I really like this one. And she had some fan art as well. Environment. Then, then the magic started when she started this webcomic with her friend. And it started very pretty, but then it became even better and better with the style. It inspired me to create my own webcomic. Which I'm still on the road of making. As you can see, she loves fantasy, just like I do. And she sketches tons of animals and every creature you can think of. From dragons, to griffins, to unicorns, to wolves, you name it. So this is all work from her. And she has a variety of styles. From Totoro, to little dogs, more digital work. And then the magic style. Suddenly, out of nowhere, her style just improved. And I know that means it's practice and everything, but it's just so beautiful to see how someone can do a lot of things. From fan art to animals to watercolor and digital media. It's really good. And you'll see how adorable this is. It's Lion King, Bambi, Fox and Hound. And then the magic. This is when she started doing went cards. And from this and on, in my opinion, she became even better. Like all the perspective of her creatures, the texture on the characters, everything. So well done. I believe there's something called photo bashing, which is joining pictures and paintings in one, making them look so good. There's a very inter interesting um, example I have for this one. For example, you can see it mostly where there's a lot of texture going on. There's this lady in a mountain, on a mountain, sorry, and she's holding a sword. So cool, this one. So I'll show you this one because it's so pretty. So she has the phoenix one first. You can see all the detail, the textures, perspective, the wings, how they look like so realistic. So cool. And then, like for example, this, the mountains, I believe, are photo bashed. But the texture of the painting, the pose, the, the clothes, their expression, I mean, wow. And you can see the improvement. You can see it quite obviously in her personal work. Even in the, this style, like cartoony style, and all the textures she has, and her painterly style or a soft one different poses, colors. I recommend you look at her work for inspiration. Look at all the dynamism of her drawings, her paintings, the use of color. It's really, really good work. So she has like a wide array of style and coloring ways. She's so inspiring. And the good thing is she can draw, well, anything. Animals, humans, buildings, backgrounds, 
anything. This is one of the best things I've seen. One of the best artists out there, in my opinion. So, go watch her or follow her. She's on Instagram, Tumblr, our station, and Redbubble. And you can see just how cool and how, it, how her improvement can be shown. She's really wonderful. Let's encourage her to keep working on the, on the Gwent cards, which are just so good. And they are also animated. They animate them at the studio she's in, I believe. There's one with an eye. I just saw it. This one. And I don't know if she put the animation there, but it's so cool. Like, let's, let's follow this one. Oh, well, that's her. This, this guy here was animated, and many of them, many of the ones she's made are animated. So that's, that's so interesting. And if you follow her on, on her Instagram, that's where you can see the animations, I think. So let's see. Oh, this one, I think this one is animated, yeah. See? because he has a phoenix. I don't know if this one is animated, that would be so cool. No, wait, I'll find it. Ah, this one is animated too, this one. So yeah, it's just so cool. She did an animated, but her illustration is just so well made that it can't be animated. So yeah, that's what I like about her style. And I've admired her ever since I was like little. I've been on this website all, almost as long, I believe. And since I found her, I was in awe of what she could do. And yeah, she's been a very good inspiration over the years. So go watch her. And more videos to come. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.